Hey, we are back now with the Two on Your Side original tonight, looking into one of the most common complaints that we hear from you, our viewers. Why are our traffic signals so out of sync? This costs you time, money, and sometimes your sanity. Absolutely. And while we're behind many other regions across the country, it does now seem like this problem is getting addressed in western New York. And to on your sides, Michael Wooten is live tonight. He is along Delaware Avenue in Buffalo. And Michael, a welcome change, and it cannot come quick enough, right? Yeah, no doubt, Scott and Mary Alice. I first reported on Delaware Avenue's out of sync signals more than a decade ago, and it is still stop and go traffic here, especially during the morning and evening commute. In fact, it might be worse now than in a long time because of some traffic changes, but this roadway should soon join a growing list of others all over the region using some new technology to cut down on wasting your time and causing you a lot of frustration. <music> New pavement, but the same old problems. Driving Delaware Avenue from North Buffalo to downtown takes longer now than in 2011, 2013, or 2019, when two on your side previously timed it out. It's worse now because the city changed Delaware from two lanes in each direction to one with turn and bike lanes, and the signals still aren't synced, though we've been promised that will change. For the average person watching who's been frustrated with Delaware for so long, it's going to be a better drive. It is. It is. And we're going to be able to optimize the entire corridor um, in real time. And I think that's the key. Buffalo will use the same technology already up and running in the town of Tonawanda. And so one camera does the whole intersection. One camera does okay. the whole intersection. Town engineer Matthew Sutton showed us how from a single source, MyoVision can simultaneously detect dozens of vehicles, pedestrians, and cyclists to optimize traffic through the intersection. Gone are the days of waiting at the light when nobody's going in the other direction. You're not gonna sit there for an extended period of time trying to just wait for the traffic signal to change. How would you grade it? How is it going? So I would say for the town, this has been a, a great project. Tonawanda started with MyoVision cameras at six intersections on a heavily traveled stretch of Brighton Road. When fully implemented on a corridor, Matthew says this type of technology can give data to engineers so that they can improve traffic flows and cut down on drive times by as much as 25% or more. Vehicles get from, from one end to the other in a shorter amount of time at a lower speed. You're not stopping and going. A good timing plan has you constantly driving at your 25, 30 miles an hour. You're not going from 50 miles an hour to zero miles an hour and then trying to make up time in between. Tonawanda is now putting this technology at all 26 intersections with signals that are owned and operated by the town. The State Department of Transportation also has about 20 MyoVision cameras up and running, including on busy Niagara Falls Boulevard with plans to install more. And the town of Amherst has a network of cameras at 24 intersections. And the cameras can talk to each other, so every intersection will talk to each other. A phase one trial in Amherst showed travel times cut by up to 11%. We are the traffic operations center. Athena Hutchins is executive director at NITEC, which helps coordinate between all the different towns, villages, cities, and other jurisdictions. It is getting better. It's going to take time because there are 2,000 signals in this region. Amherst is now in phase two, installing cameras at its remaining 32 signals at a cost of $675,000. With more funding, NITEC says we'll see the technology used all over western New York. We just need the money to do it. Give us some money. We're Give ready. us the money. We'll do it. We'll help work with the agencies. Back in Buffalo. Connected corridor all the way throughout. It's not so much the cost that's delaying MyoVision on Delaware Avenue. They're still waiting on the manufacturer to deliver the cameras. The hope is to get them in before winter and fully synchronize Delaware from Niagara Square all the way up to Forest. So even the intersections that don't have the camera, they're still going to have the pucks and they're still going to talk to each other. Exactly. And that's the big advantage. You don't have to do MyoVision at each one but you have to do it at a few of those major intersections to where it makes sense. For Buffalo's former Public Works Commissioner. Did you ever hear the complaints from drivers like, geez, what's up with this traffic light? All, all, all the time. <laughs> and it's that's one of those quality of life things that, that uh, impacts a lot of people. The city promises a smoother drive on Delaware. It's just going to take a little bit longer. You definitely see improvements. It'll be in, in great shape. Uh, with the latest technology. It's the year 2022. I mean, people kind of expect this type of technology to be out there, right? Absolutely. People expect that, you know, it's very important for me to get into work every day. 
that, and so they expect that to be a focus. Focusing on technology to help reduce pollution, save you money on gas, and get you where you're going faster. You're not going to build more roads, you're not going to expand expressways and add more lanes, but let's use technology to help us alleviate some of that congestion. All right, so we'll see how long it's going to take to get those cameras so they can put them up here on Delaware. But this isn't the only focus in the city of Buffalo. Cameras are also scheduled to go up on Main Street next year, and they're already installed on Abbott and Niagara, parts of those major thoroughfares. So more to come on that. And our coverage on this topic will continue tomorrow on the town hall. We'll talk about some of the really cool features with this technology, potentially life saving down the road. So that is ahead tomorrow. For now, reporting live along Delaware Avenue in Buffalo, I'm Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News. All righty, Michael, thank you for that great report. And just to be clear here, these cameras, they do not record or store the video. They do not read license plates, and they are not used as those former red light cameras that we've seen or to catch any speeders. That's right. They simply detect the traffic and then use artificial intelligence to better time out those intersections. Mm -hmm.